Right now we're on the outskirts of UC Merced campus looking at some marginal agriculture lands and these are the types of lands that current efforts are being designed to produce biofuels for. These are the types of lands that aren't in great demand for food so they might be good options for growing bioenergy crops. Well the types of crops will probably depend on the local climate and the local land management types so in the U.S., one crop that's talked about a lot is uh, uh, miscanthus, another is switchgrass. These are grasses that grow quickly and they grow well on more marginal lands like these. In the state of California, where the rain is not abundant during the growing season, uh, alternatives to crops might be used, and those are waste products. So residues from the agriculture and forest industries, municipal solid waste, these are types of plant material or sources of plant material that we might use to make electricity. Some of these are also really important for maintaining the soils. You have to be careful about how much plant material you remove from the land, but if you do it smartly, there's a, there's a way to get in there and, and harness some of those plant wastes for energy production. One of the Im most important issues that needs to be considered when thinking about renewable energy research goals and policy goals is to include a broad range of options because really at this point it's not clear which specific technologies are going to provide us the best answers to our problems for energy independence, for climate change mitigation, for air pollution, for economic competitiveness. And currently the discussion is, is really focused on liquid fuels. From the results of this study, you can see that there are big opportunities to be had by other forms of alternative energy, and it would be important to try and include these alternative forms, like creating electricity from biomass, in our national, state, and local energy goals.